This is Randy Bell with the Courier Podcast, the place to come for the latest Clinton news. When Clinton police got permission to buy their first drones just over a year ago, Chief Ford Heyman told the Board of Aldermen the technology would be used to help us carry out our mission. And the investment has paid off. As a young murder suspect was on the run following a shooting on Hathaway Drive March 21st, CPD deployed a drone to locate and track him as he made his way through a neighborhood not far from a church daycare center. That drone was able to get in the air and uh, we found him. Absolutely a bird's eye view. You can cover so much more ground effectively and quickly. Drone video shows officers taking 17-year-old Cutlass Armani Frazier into custody with the gun believed to have been used in the murder of 19-year-old Cordarius Webster visible on the ground. The chief says his officers train with the drones every couple of weeks. They're learning as they go and we're only getting better at it and the better we get I think we'll find more and more uses. Mayor Phil Fisher says when Heyman first requested the drones there may have been some initial skepticism. People kind of you know, chuckling about it, just saying, you know, uh, what, what's the big deal? And, you, you know, you could just see what it could be and what we were trying to do. What could happen? Fisher says the most important benefit of the drones is increasing the level of safety for Clinton police. Had an officer been injured during the chase, help would have been on the way instantly. We would have known right then somebody with the drones could have called it in. Frazier had his initial court appearance March 22nd and his bond was set at one million dollars. This is the first homicide in the city this year. This is Randy Bell.